Hey you guys, it's your girl I Am Nubian with I Am Nubian Customs. I'm just here vlogging for my week 13. Um, I did this install this morning. Um, the video will be up, you know, probably when this video gets put up. I just have to put my makeup and stuff. I've been crying today. Y'all been like just in a very emotional state for the past week. That's why I haven't really been vlogging all week. Or just like my internal emotions and my external emotions like a lot of stuff is just going on around me and i'm just really trying to wrap my head around it i'm sitting outside so if you see me look up i'm looking at traffic or something like that um not yesterday but the day before yesterday i had a little bit of spotting um if you're in my channel my channel is by all women's health by the intro you should already know that this video is going to be tmi so if you do not want to hear anything about women's health or my vagina personally or anybody is going through PCOS symptoms or a TTC journey, then you should click out of this video. So, but anywho, I'm sorry because my attitude, like, I'm just like on 10 right now. But, um, yeah, the other day I had a little bit of it was like a lot of mucus mixed with blood. I went to go wipe, wasn't nothing on my panties, so I had worked my boyfriend up at like four or five o'clock in the morning. Telling him, like, you know, I need to go get something from the store and stuff. And my insomnia has been so bad. I've been just, like, going to sleep early, taking, like, low four or five, six-hour naps. And then I'll wake up and be up for, like, 24 hours. And he ain't go back to sleep. If I do go to sleep, I'm only going to go to sleep for, like, four hours. And then up, like, just up. Um, and outside of that, um, the night before... I had the spotting, um, so I want to say it was Friday night, I ended up throwing up rural bread all night, I woke up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, just throwing up my whole entire life, like stomach liner, everything, I had to wake him up again, tell him go give me some uh, pepto bills and stuff from the store, because I did not feel good at all, like whatsoever, um, and I had real bad diarrhea and stuff too, and then it, I like really didn't eat nothing the next day. And then, um, but that Saturday night, like, real, real early, I ended up having that spot in. And then yesterday was Sunday. I was all good. Like, wasn't nothing there. And today wasn't nothing there. So I just went ahead and took a bath. So, you know, rinse and wash out any of that little bit of blood that did come out. Because blood is waste from your body. You want to make sure that you're not secretioning all of that stuff inside of your vagina, ladies. Like, whenever that happens, just make sure you're taking a bath. Don't try to put too much water in there, but just make sure you let the water swish in there enough to, you know, do what you do. Yes. Hi. I'm just smoking a cigarette. Okay, I'm a <laughs> oh, okay. How are you doing? See me, see me every now and then. Okay. You going to come around this time? In the afternoon. Okay. I'll be here. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, um, I'm sorry. That was um, my grandma's pastor because she's going through hospice right now. So, like I said, I have a lot of internal and external stuff going on around me so I've been very very emotional and stuff like that like I said my eyes and my face might be a little puffy because I just got done crying and stuff like tripping balls but um what the fuck was I saying um yeah so you know I was saying so Sunday night wasn't nothing there today is Monday I'm at work with my grandma so I just talked to her pastor wasn't nothing there. I took a bath and stuff this morning and did my install because I woke up at like 5 o'clock this morning. So, yeah. Um, I have two more days left. And um, today is what? The 9th or the 8th? Today is the 9th. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to take it one day at a time. If I do take a little break from YouTube, I'll probably still vlog. But when I put up my vlogs, it'll probably just come in all at one time. And again, I'm sorry that I'm smoking a cigarette in this vlog, but I just really need to calm my nerves down. And I know I've got to be tripping because I just smoked, like, damn near a whole pack of cigarettes in one night. Like, and that's just ridiculous because I don't even smoke cigarettes like that. Pack of cigarettes last me three days at least. So I know that something is just there's just so much change um another thing is my appetite i still be super super hungry in the morning i'm losing stuff is still you know 
getting big or however. I don't know what's going on with my boobs. Like, some crazy stuff is going on. They don't hurt right now, but they just feel super full. Not having any cramp into there or anything like that. But all the whole weekend, like, my stomach and stuff was hurting real, real bad. I was super, super irritable and stuff with everybody. Like, kids, everything, and all of that. So, I'm just... You know, I'm going to vlog my last two days for y'all, let y'all know what's going on. Try to come to y'all when I'm in a better state of mind. And, yeah. All right, you guys. Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Pop, and Melanin Taking Over the World. Period. All right. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And hit me up on IG at I am Nubian Customs 92 as well on Facebook at I am um, Nubian Customs 92. All right, you guys. Ciao. <laughs> Hey, Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, what's poppin'? It's your girl, I am Nubian, and, okay, y'all, so, y'all can see in the beginning of this vlog that I was going through a lot, so, week 13, I barely vlogged, like, that was the only day that I vlogged today, um, we're in week 14, it is Friday the 13th, I start my weeks on Wednesdays, so, we are... Three days into week 14, and so far, pretty much it's just been the same stuff. Um, my teeth really don't hurt like that, but I do have every now and again, my teeth on the right side might hurt a little bit and be a little sensitive to food, but lately it really hasn't been like that. Um, my ankles have not swelled since the week of Thanksgiving or anything like that, so I really haven't had no problems with that. I just mainly been having um, a little bit of back pain and things like that. Um, as far as my supplement, I try to take my phallic acid here and there when I remember, but for the most part, I really haven't been taking any supplements, but besides that one, um, and a little bit of black seed oil here and there when I, re um, if need be with that as well, um, and that's orally or topically, um, what else has happened, um, since then, I had a little bit of that same type of spotting, like, two other times, which would be, like, today. When I went, um, I just wiped a little bit, and it's, like, the lightest of lightest, like, like, it's not even nothing on my underwear or anything. It's just only on the tissue, and I had, like, kind of stick the tissue in there a little bit just to double check, because I thought I was tripping when I was looking at the tissue. Because I'm one of the people, if I went to the bathroom, I'm going to look at everything. I don't care. That's just me. I'm needing to know what's going on with my body. Okay. Okay. Um... And outside of that, I really haven't um, had any cramping or anything like that. It's just, it's a little tender here and there. And I have a little bit of nausea throughout the day at random times. But um, no throwing up or anything since um, a couple of days. What was that? Whatever day that I told y'all that I had all that throwing up in week 13 or whatever. Um, also... Else has been going on, you guys. Oh, I don't have on no wrong. My boobs are still just there. Um, <laughs> they just feel a little bit heavy and stuff. Um, and yeah, and I'm gonna have my appointment coming up on Monday the 16th, but today was Friday the 13th, so I was like, why not vlog? It's Friday the 13th. Okay, and being that I've been having like a little bit of breakthrough, I don't even say breakthrough, I don't know what it is because today I only had that after we got done play fighting a little bit, which when we were in the middle of play fighting, I'm getting a little bit nauseous, like I had to stop doing all this because moving around because, mm -mm. and that's when I got to work, I had noticed that, and then uh, the last time that had happened, when it was like the whole bunch of mucus in a little bit when I thought it was about to like for real come on even though it was more mucus than blood um I only did it that one time that night and that was the day no that was two days after I had thrown up so I had thrown up super super early in the like four o'clock in the morning then all the next day I really didn't eat or do anything and then that following day after that is when I had that little bit of um, mucus and stuff around the same time I was throwing up like four o'clock in the morning or something like that but I ended up going away and there wasn't nothing there and since then I had little intercourse a handful of times I didn't have any irritation or hurting or nothing with that um 
so I really just don't know you guys like I'm really just in here baffled but being that that's the only little bit that I have seen so far um I want to start back taking my Vitex just to see what is going to go on with that but when I start taking this um I'm gonna start back like how I did at first even though I haven't had a cycle or anything yet I'm just gonna take one in the morning and one at night I already took my father acid for today, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and just take this one, being that I have not gotten a shower or anything yet anyways, um, so this might make me sweat a little bit, because I know when I first started taking it, it um, made me sweat and stuff, like pushing toxins on my body, and I have been smoking a lot of cigarettes because my anxiety and stuff has been out of control, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this and sit for like 15, 20 minutes. And then that way when I'm in the shower, all that stuff can steam out at one time. And another thing is I have been um, back bathing with my black activated charcoal soap as well. So I don't know if that is playing an effect or anything or not. Um... So, yeah. So, week 14, we're just going to be taking our Vitex and Folic Acid. Week 13, pretty much, was just the same couple symptoms that has been going on since week 11. They just jump around. And as far as... Oh, and I've been getting, like, a little bit of headaches at night as well, too, now. But, um... And also, during week, um... 13 i did take another test and i wanted to come back negative as well so again i'm just sitting here like a goose just waiting on something to happen um according to my tracker it says that i'm 48 days late or something like that i don't know i'm gonna put some screenshots of that in here as well for y'all so you can see what the tracker and everything looks like um so yeah so we have headache we have mood swings we have fatigue bloating gas we had a little bit of diarrhea one time um toothache back pain breast pain ligaments popping in and out of place corn with my legs swelling for three days um actual vomiting nausea fatigue um insomnia am i forgetting anything oh when my t-zone was acting crazy and i'm still having that thing i don't know if it's from when i cry oh yeah i've been crying i don't know if it's because it just is one of my life or just because i'm not the type of person that cries like i done went through a lot of stuff and it, it takes a lot for me to like cry so i don't know <laughs> It feels for me crying, but I'll get, like, where, like, acne wants to just come up on this right side. But then it'll just clear up and vanish. Like, the pimples never mature to actual, like, blemishes. And I think that's just so weird. And it's only on this one right side. And it's like, my hair is done the same. I sleep the same. Like, everything's the same. I don't use nothing crazy or different. So, I don't know. I think that's so weird to me. As far as anything else with my appearance, I can't tell. But somebody else might can. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I guess we'll just have to figure out. Because I'm going to make them folks. They're going to do something. like Because if this is for real just a fluke. And this is my PCOS or something. Acting crazy, honey. I'm about to get on this body for summer. For my modeling stuff. For like a whole bunch of stuff that I have in my head for manifestation that I don't want to talk too much about but if you know me everybody knows that I'm modeling I'm into fashion stuff but it's more that goes along with that um and I would just said that because I don't mind sharing that part with you guys because I know it's always gonna be a smart ass out the bunch it always is so um yeah and then on Monday we'll still be on week 14 and then we'll be in the week 14 on that Wednesday, which will be the 18th or whatnot, or 17th slash 18th, because it's like it really ends on Tuesday because Wednesday starts my week 15. So, yeah, I cannot believe I've been doing this vlog for 15 weeks like that is crazy to me. 
you guys and i just want to say thank you melanin nation melanin gang kings and queens thank you for rocking with your girl like for real for real for real anybody that's been leaving me comments i try to write back when i do see it so i want to just say Thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the encouragement. It's been nothing but positive stuff being said. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And I did try to go back to some of the pages to see if y'all had an actual YouTube page. Some of the people didn't. Some of the people did. But I did try to go back and reach out and like stuff or comment and just check it out. Um, so again, I might come back, but like I said, pretty much everything has been the same. If anything happens crazy with the Vitex over the next couple of days, as far as like um, any more spotting or am I actually coming on or any CM change or anything like that or pain, any of that, I'll just come back to y'all. But for the most part, it's just been back pain constant nauseous feeling and a little bit of ligament stuff going on you know what i'm saying and yeah and all the other stuff is just like it comes and goes in random times like i really can't pinpoint it but like i said ever since week 11 so yeah 11 12 13 kind of some of week 10 is when all of this stuff has started so We'll see. And according to my tracker as well, it says that I think I'm supposed to start on the either 20th or the 21st or something like that. But, but again, I see y'all in a little bit. Ciao. Also, be on the lookout for this install as well. If you didn't remember from the intro. And there will be a takedown video to this as well. So, ciao. Another thing that I had wanted to touch on before I got off track and forgot. You know, I just got that wild hair, big hair, don't care, okay? Um, I've been saying that I wanted to shout out some channels that have been helping me on my journey. I've been on this journey that um, led me to take certain supplements and things like that and to be on the lookout for certain things that's going on with my body and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to go to her um, YouTube name. is I'm actually watching one of her videos right now. Is um, Natural Fertility Info. Um, she talks about a lot of cool things. So that is her page. I'm not sure if it has flashback or not, but yeah, that's her page and the correct spelling of everything. And the other girl's page, um, this is her page. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to do this in the most ghetto way. Okay, there we go. You can see it. It's right here. And her name is Fertility Home Homeopath. And she helped me with a lot of things. So just um, be on the lookout for their videos and stuff. If you're going through anything with PCOS, you want to learn about taking supplements or just women's health period, they will lead you to good all good things so i'm all about woman empowerment and things like that so um anybody else that i can think of i will either do like this or type them down in the description box below or something of that nature um also for my hair journey stuff i will be doing the same thing for that as well because I, like i said i'm trying to get better i'm a one woman show but I love y'all, and I love the support that I get, and I know that as long as I keep on doing this and pursuing this, that it can only get better. But for right now, I'm about to just go do my little meditative state um, before I further get ready for the rest of the day. And another shot I want to do is just I love these two women so much. Like, they don't even know it. One lives all the way in Georgia. The other one, I don't know where she lives at, but she's dope too. <laughs> and if you know anything about me, that I am a 
herbalist i do um natural medicine i'm all about the spiritual practices and things of that nature so two of the tarot um reading people that i do and would recommend especially if you were a cancer like me because they're cancer readers so like the vibe is just always just right um the first girl that I ran into, her name is A Minute with Mila. She took a um, break from YouTube, but now she's back on here doing readings. She does weekly um, love readings. She does monthly readings. She does pick a card readings. She does pop-up readings. Um, she's so, so dope. She's in Atlanta, Georgia. Again, her page is called A Minute with Mila. A Minute with with Mila. M I L A. A minute with Mila. It's her page. Um and my other home girl. I don't know where this girl is at, but like I just know like if me and her was to link up, it would be cracking. Okay. <laughs> She's so so dope. And I can't even think of her real name i don't even think she ever said her real name on the um channel but she's under ice cream dreams ice cream dreams like ice cream cone ice cream dreams and she also she does daily readings which are so dope i'll check out every daily reading that she posts um and then she does monthly readings and then she has private readings as well both of them do private readings you just have to go look in the description boxes for all their prices and info and things like that so yes i'm about to come get I'm going to take one here and do my research and manifestations and things of that sort. So, love you and see you later. Melon Nation, Melon Game, Melon Papa, Melon Tickle Boy. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, I Am Nubian with I Am Nubian Customs. And today is Monday, December 16th. So, I am still on week 14. Um, however, on Wednesday, when I was recording for y'all, my phone just completely just stopped working. So, if this picture is like a little bit fuzzy or, you know, something like that, just don't pay any mind. Because I am recording this like on one of the first tablets that ever came out, like back when everybody was getting them tablets off of Sprint and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, don't judge me, but we're going to make this work because I love y'all. And I was so distraught. Like, I got to record. I got to do this. I got to do that. So, making it work. Got paid today. I'm going to go take care. Get me a new phone. All of that. But I had to come to y'all this morning. What's up, Melanation? How is y'all end of the month going? Because my end of the month is going like... Where is January at this motherfucker? Okay. <laughs> like, period. Poop. Dog. Then my health, you guys, all yesterday night, like, I just threw up everything I had ate, like, for breakfast. I had made, like, a brunch. I had bacon, sausage, grits, and eggs with some biscuits. You know what I'm saying? It's something regular, like, around... Seven, eight, something o'clock ish last night. Like I just start throwing up crazy. Like I threw up like twelve times. I just kept getting up and just about to throw up, throw up, throw up. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Then on Friday, before my phone had cut out, I didn't get a chance to, you know, come back and tell y'all. But I had a little bit of vomit in that day too. But it was just more liquidy and foamy. Last night it was like food. It was like half food. And then the other half was just like watery and foamy, like how it was that one time. And then outside of that, I haven't like really vomited since the last time I told y'all when I had um, drink some wine coolers with my coworker. And the next day, I had um, you know the diarrhea and I took the Pepto Bismol. That was during week thirteen. So you guys, I don't know. I don't know. Then my doctor's appointment is today. I was telling them, like, this team too much going on. I know something's wrong. So that's just going to follow up from when I went to the ER. But this is as close as they could get me in. So that's going to be, you know, at 
Y'all yeah, know I'm gonna come tell y'all the tea about that. Then part of me is like, I don't know. Like I was saying, I was having mixed emotions about all of this. I'm not posting it and then with my phone breaking and all of that. I don't know. And I said, my spiritual side was like, hmm. You know, just made me just say, hmm. But with those couple of days on my phone and stuff not in my possession, it was kind of like a brain cleanser. Like, girl, you need a break from all that radiation on your brain and your third eye. Just, like, just give it a break. Just give it a rest. Give your, you know, meditation a rest. Like, just sleep. Just lay there. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? Just be one with yourself. And ain't nothing wrong with that sometimes. You know, sometimes you just got to do that. Um, and then outside of the growing up, i just been having, like, outer um, breast paint. And then, like, if I go outside and, like, even I can have, like, the thickest sweater, a whole bunch of shirts, it don't matter. As soon as, like, get hard or feel any type of cold air, which I don't even know how the cold air still is getting up in there, but it's like they hurt. Like, it just hurt. Like, I can't even explain the pain. Like... I feel like, I don't know, because I don't really put clamps on there, but, like, I could just imagine, like, if you used to put a clamp, and then that's what it feels like. It's just, like, pressures of hurting. Like, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm just touching myself. I'm doing that, but it's just, like, yeah, I just don't understand. So, yeah. And then other than that, I just have a little bit of back pain. I still be hungry as hell, and I wake up really early in the morning. I have certain cravings for stuff, but sometimes I don't even get to eat what I want to eat, so I just eat whatever. Um, and just a little bit tired. I'm sorry, y'all. It's like, I've been having these lashes on for like a week. And then like this hair, it's like, it keeps getting stuck to my lashes. Then I got dust on my lashes from like my fleece covers and stuff, because I know it's winter time now. I gotta have them these covers out, so I'm sorry. I can dig it in my eye. But yeah, and then also taking down this install is probably gonna be recorded on this, um, unless I be able to just see my phone and stuff and do it on there today because I have to do my daughter's hair too. Well, my stepdaughter's hair, but yeah, I have to do her hair and my hair because I normally do our wash days on the same day. And I know this has nothing to do with my health video, but it's kind of going to be like, a, you know, letting y'all know what's good with you, girl, because it's been like a week. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and let everything, you know, load up on this tablet because y'all, I've not turned this tablet on in forever. When I went to my Google backup on this tablet, my Google backup was back in June when me and my sister went to the um, New Edition concert in Mount Pleasant. It was hot outside. I had on a whole summer outfit, y'all. I remember that night to the T. That night was turned. I should do a story time on that night. It was honey. It was turned. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all. I just been, you know little pain, a little upset stomach. I really didn't have no diarrhea since then, but it's just been like a little bit of constipation and like the texture is different and the color has been like a real weird color. But other than that, you know, everything smegler, regular, decular. You know, oh, my tooth has been bothering me a little bit. And I also downloaded my tracker onto this tablet as well, just in case if anything ever happens. I always have it backed up on different devices. Um, and I also had to put that my tooth was hurting. And the thing, I'm glad I was recording because if I wasn't recording, I forgot you guys. So, yes, it's been hurting for like the last two, three days again. So, I'm just going to go ahead and edit that. I had a tooth ache on there because. I don't know if that's playing a part in anything either. Um, but I know it's part of the symptoms, so I'm probably gonna um I'm probably gonna tell by the title. I'm sitting here thinking of a title for this. And y'all probably gonna know what's up by the time I come back with all of that. So yeah, we got two more days of week fourteen. Cause today is Monday. So technically like a day. And then, you know, Wednesday is my 
week 15 start off kick off you feel me um so again preparation for christmas stuff if anybody knows me i really don't celebrate christmas like i just chill with the family i might bake a dessert or something like that and i just be chilling like all of that unnecessary buying stuff i don't believe in all of that and then once i get my household how i want to do my household i want to start um doing like mini vacations or something and just make memories and every year we just go somewhere different or something for christmas and stuff like that versus buying a whole bunch of toys that they're not going to even play with because yeah they don't play with half of that shit they play with certain toys and the other half of the toys just be all over the fucking house so yeah that's how I do that. So just be on the lookout for my week 15 coming up. Any more vlogs for week 14 within these 24 hours. And um, also I've just been taking my phallic acid. I've been wanting to take the Vitex, but it's kind of been kind of hard taking that. Um, struggling with that. Because like I said, I do like to take it before I... Um, get in the shower and stuff because it does make me sweat and perspirate toxins and stuff out of my body so um yeah y'all already know me i'll be moving around doing the damn little so half the time i just take my phallic acid and then if i remember i have time to take the vitex i will do that um also for next week for week 15 i plan on being more dedicated to my vitex um and also, I will come back today after that to film and let y'all know what they said and stuff. Um, so, yeah. I just feel like I'm rambling at this point. So, see y'all in the next segment, boo. Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Pop, and Melanin taking over the world. Period. Also, I'm thinking about, before I log off, um, I'm doing a, like a no weed year. I'm still going to do protective styles, but... I want to start doing my natural hair because I'm like, my hair is getting long. But y'all know me, I like to keep it braided up because if I don't, it'll start breaking and doing all that crazy stuff. And I don't want to put a lot of heat on my hair because I finally got my hair back to a thickness where I like it. And um, my natural curl pattern is back. I just have to figure out products to use to get it to look how I want it to look. Um, and things like that. And my boyfriend really been on my head about these weaves and stuff, even though I really don't do my hair only like once a month or something like he just really does not like it he prefers my regular hair he does not like me so you can't get cute for your man and all that if you don't like he likes it like you look cute but he be wanting to like he be like why can't you just take it off why don't you buy a wig so you can just take it off and then whatever you want to have your extraness you have your extraness type of thing and i'm just like nigga i don't want to be wearing wigs like that but okay we'll figure it the fuck out so yeah. yeah. Also, I'm about to try to get him up on my channel too. He just don't know it. I'm a kind of asking him on this channel, y'all. Y'all gonna see yourself with that. <laughs> so, alright, y'all.